Hi, I'm Ranger Diana, and this is Wetland Sphinx Moth Fun Facts. Moths are not as popular as their cousins the butterflies, and that is because they're out and about mostly at night. However, it is estimated that there are 160,000 species of moths worldwide. Here in the U.S., we have about 11,000. Some of the largest moths in the world are part of the hawk moth or sphingid family. They have narrow wings and thick bodies, and they can be very fast flyers. Hawk moths love sweet smelling flowers and are pretty good at finding them in the dark. They especially like the dura or gypsum weed, four o'clocks, and queen of the night cactus. But let's get to the one we're really here for, the white line sphinx moth. White line sphinx moths are also known as hummingbird moths. Adults are primarily nocturnal but can sometimes be seen during the day. They have a big body and small wings, so they need to beat their wings pretty fast, allowing them to hover like a hummingbird. Females can produce hundreds of eggs and those get laid in the spring. Caterpillars, which you most likely saw a whole bunch of last month, feed on pretty much everything. Caterpillars, also called hornworms, can vary in color, but all have a pointed horn in their back, which is soft and harmless. White line sphinx moths have a very long proboscis, which is the tongues moths and butterflies use to slurp nectar from flowers, and it can be about 11 inches long. Moths are pollinators, and they pick up pollen in their legs and wings, which then they spread as they visit several flowers. However, their numbers are declining due to the use of pesticides. We can help these hardworking night pollinators by planting white or pale flowers with strong scents that open in the late afternoon or at night. This is it for Wildline Sphinx Moth Fun Facts. See you next time!